Hello friend, welcome you all to my channel Learn Innovatively with me. My name is Sasi Gusar Chauhan and today I am going to discuss about Fluorescence Elijah. And if you are going to perform Fluorescence Elijah experiment first time, how you can optimize your experiment by adjusting the optic position and different PMT gain for your experiment. So you can see on my laptop screen, by default task manager is open, click here on the new, you can open new experiment and in the procedure of the protocol option you can select the plate type if you click here you can see there are list of the plate type you can select according to your plate so so here you can see i have used the neuroprobe chemotax plate this is a specialized plate for the chemotaxis or cell migration assay so in my experiment i have used the neuroprobe chemotax plate so i am selecting this and i am unchecked lead and if you click here on the read and here select the fluorescence that and in point and here filter set the excitation wavelength for my experiment is 48520 and the emission wavelength is 52820 here i want to suggest you before going for the fluorescence elijah experiment please ensure that your biotech elijah plate reader machine have the desired filter set for the excitation and emission so that you can perform your experiment and next you can see the optic position top and if you click here you can see the bottom so biotech elijah plate reader can read the data from the bottom or top so you can select the detection position and you can optimize your experiment and here you can see the gain this is the pmt gain by default it is 35 so you can adjust the gain of pmt and you can see at at which PMT and the optic position you are getting the optimum result for your experiment if you are using the first time if you are going to perform the fluorescence Elijah experiment first time for your experiment so what is the range of PMT gain for the, the experiment if you close this and click on the help help topic and in the search option search gain click click enter and here on the fluorescence analysis if you click here and here you can see gain of the pmt can be set by entering the desired value while it's setting range between 25 to 255 or by letting j5 determine the optimal gain setting using the filter set option described below so you can adjust the gain of pmt between 25 to 255 so i am closing this again click on the procedure select your plate type and the read detection method fluorescence read type endpoint and the excitation this is for my experiment you can select according to your experiment so i have used the calcine in my cell migration assay so calcine excite on 485 wavelength and the emission of the calcine is 528 nanometer so i am using this filter set for the excitation and emission but in your case you can select according to your excitation and emission situation and the optic position you can see here as i have told you before you can choose top or bottom so first i am selecting the top position and the gain pmt i am selecting the 50 and i am also using the so i am going to take the another data for the this experiment so i am selecting the here and keeping the same excitation and the emission wavelength and but here the, i am changing the optic position from top to bottom and i am keeping the same gain 50 for the second data read and click here on the next and select the same excitation and the emission here i am selecting the top optic position but i am changing the gain here uh, from 50 to 55 for the third data set and click here select the same excitation emission but now here i am selecting the bottom and the gain 55 and for the next same excitation and emission selecting top and the gain value i am changing 60 and for the next here i am selecting the bottom and the gain 60 so you can see here in my experiment I am selecting the, I am using the 
three different type of gain 50 55 and the 60 and the optic position top and bottom for each gain click on the ok here click on the plate layout and i have used the blank standard curve and the sample in my experiment so i'm selecting the blank standard and sample blank in duplicate and the standard also in duplicate and the cons concentration of the standard two lap cells with the half direction so i'm selecting the 0.5 factor and click here it automatically enter the value in the standard click on the next sample is also in duplicate with no dilution and assign your sample and standard blank in the plate so select this and here you have to change the orientation of the standard and sample so i am selecting here and assign your standard like and uh, here i have the blank so select the blank and for the sample select and assign the sample so i have used seven sample in my experiment so i am selecting up to sample seven click on the ok if you click on the plate here if you click here and the layout you can see the layout of your plate standard blank and the sample if you click here you can see here is the total 12 situation for the data acquisition so as we have selected the six type of the data acquisition situation in our procedure so you can see this is for the top 50 gain bottom 50 gain like this and also here you can see blank subtracted of same setting so gen5 software is very good it automatically subtract the blank from the your primary data so you don't have to do any further calculation for the subtracting now we can read the plate here you can see the data i have taken the data from the plate reader and if you click here and select the first setting that we have set on the 50 gain top you can see the value of the fluorescence like this you can select the setting and see the value of the fluorescence here you can see the overflow so in the fourth case that we have used the 55 gain bottom optic position in which it is showing the overflow so to know about the why these are coming from the machine how you can get the information so for this click here on the help help topic search gain fluorescence analysis click here on the troubleshooting fluorescence luminescence measurement you can get the help from this window and and here you can see the situation reader over ranging in fluorescence the possible cause for this the gain in the read step dialog is currently set too high so we can see our gain is too high that's why it is showing the overflow in my experiment so we have to use the gain below the 55 for my experiment so in this way you can get the you can optimize your experiment very easily in case of fluorescence elijah after that you can get on the data reduction and make your standard curve according to your optimized data set like x concentration and you can use the blank subtracted the data that you have get the optimized result for this i hope this may help you in optimization your fluorescence elijah experiment and if you like the video please subscribe my channel thank you